I love webinars because they do three things. They increase your income, your influence, and your impact. Mm -hmm. So for me, I get to teach thousands of people for free. And if they get the game and go use it, great. That's what's up. Like, right. go kill it. That's impact. But I also did that and taught them something for free. So now mm -hmm. I'm inf they're influenced by me because right. I've, I sat there with you for an hour and a half. Right. So now when I do my lives, mm -hmm. 600, 800 people showing up because mm -hmm. I'm building that weekly cadence and deliverability right. to them. Right. And then obviously you make a little bit of money if you do a good job at doing it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Melanin Money Show. Well, you know, we don't do a lot of repeat guests. This is only the second time, but I remember distinctively one of the clips that got chopped up and Carter was screaming Jesus like, <laughs> like, he, like he was in the, in, in the pulpit, right? And so we said, if we're going to bring back a guest, we got to bring back somebody who we know can bring just as much fire, even different what they talked about the last time, um, and just really bring a game at a high level. So with no further ado, Justin, man, how you doing, bro? I'm doing outstanding. It's always a pleasure to chop it up with my friends, man. Uh, this, this is gonna be a fun man. one, bro. It's gonna, oh, absolutely. It's gonna be a lot of acts for a friend <laughs> yeah. here, and it might go over a little bit longer than our typical episodes. And y'all gonna appreciate it if it does. <laughs> but man, so tell us what you've been up to, man. This is the last last time we caught up. It was Black Equity Con yeah. last year, Miami. so Miami. yeah. So man, what you what you been up to, man? Just focusing a lot more on the coaching side of the business because yeah. last we talked, we were like heavy in the physical products. Mm -hmm. And now I've just been having so much fun impacting people to yeah. do what we were doing. Now right. I'm just like feeling the love and the impact there. So I've been teaching a lot of people what we're doing now. But we see, man. I mean, but how you remember about how many followers you had in June of <laughs> last, June? <laughs> How about three months ago? <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, so it's like, just what's going, like, bro, just, you're going crazy right what now. What is going on? Yeah, right. you're going crazy right now. Can you tell us, like, what, like, how is all this happening? Yeah, so to answer your question, I've been able, I had about maybe 70,000, 100,000 followers last podcast mm -hmm. episode we did. As of today, I'm crossing 600,000 today. Um, and yeah, bro, I, I figured out the content. I figured yeah. out the amplification of it. Yeah. I know the play and I whatever we can do to get yeah, it to. Okay. Yeah, we're we going we to break it down. But, but before we get to that, like people who don't know who Justin Phillips is, people who don't know who JP is, like, who, you know, just give them background who you are, sure. how you can enable sure. yeah. Name's Justin Phillips. Hey, I founded a business with my business partner called Support Black Colleges. Mm -hmm. Since then, we were able to do a little under $10 million in sales within our first three, four years in business. And then now I've been able to be fortunate enough to teach people how to get to the same thing that we were able to do because we came with an idea in a dorm room yep. and took it into being in Urban Outfitters, Macy's, DTL, like all of these big box retailers. So yep. Now we just teach people how to take an idea into the highest you know scale you can get it to. Dope, dope. And as you transitioned into this coaching space, right? Because obviously, I think it started out you just going live, just giving away sauce. Like and you still gives away so much game. Like your your current posts now are better than most people's courses, right? right? Like we can we can all admit to that, right? So <laughs> we have to admit to that. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm like, there's no, there's no way around it. Yeah, no way around it, bro. <laughs> so 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 obviously you know you probably get to a point where people are just like beating down your door like yo can you show me this can you show me that and so you kind of formalized it into like a program right. um so just like tell us a little bit about like like that because it seems like you're really really leaning into that now so yeah. tell us a little bit about that yeah i mean essentially it felt like a moral obligation almost mm -hmm. because i'm just doing the business and when we last talked my excuse was well i'm just doing the business so i don't need to be teaching and whatever, right. whatever. you were you were adamantly against it you're yeah. like bro i'm just really going all in on like the business itself, right. yeah. So, but then it came to my attention. It was like a lot of people were DMing me all the time, hundreds of DMs a day, mm -hmm. and it's like impossible to get back to everyone. Right. And then I started to see people DMing me like they having bad experiences. Mm -hmm. So it felt like my moral obligation to teach what I was actually doing to be able to help people so that they don't get taken advantage of. Right. So I was like, it felt I felt bad not showing people what I'm doing because I'm doing it. All right. I need to do is just put it on camera. And right. I was like, right. that right. will help a lot of people. So yeah. I just started to give away everything that I knew. Cause I knew that the way I think is like, this game isn't saturated. Like mm -hmm. you don't go down the bread aisle, you know what I'm saying? Thinking right. that, this, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. that it's saturated. It's, yeah. it's something for everybody. Right. So I just started teaching everything I knew. And then naturally, because you, when you jump into something, you go, you master it. Right. Mm -hmm. And so what you went into to just teach end up evolving into learning the 
mastery of the process of how to do this. Yeah. So that's what we really want to get into okay. today because it's like, yo, you you got some shit. For lack of a better word. For lack of a better word. You got some shit. Yeah. So we just, we just want to dive into it, man, because the way you do it, like, I mean, I know Carter was just talking about offline. You gave him one tweak and it basically doubled, right, mm-hmm. his, his ROI, which is huge, yeah, right, yeah. at scale. So yeah. let's get into it, man. Yeah. yeah, I think it's funny. I think I told y'all before the story of, like, when I met uh, people that were in the the digital space and mm-hmm. how I kind of got into it. Did I tell you? No, I, mean, I don't. Know. Well, I um. So I'll try to be brief because it's kind of long. But I was, I mean, doing my business, physical mm-hmm. products. We were running our ads with a guy named Leon, and we're running ads. And then he calls me one day. He's like, "Yo, these two entrepreneurs, they're great. They're about to mm-hmm. pay someone fifteen thousand dollars to do like a diagnosis of their business." Mm-hmm. And I'm like. Whoever it is, I'll do it for free to just help. And yeah. it ended up being Halani and Jason, uh, Mr. Uh, two Weeks Out, Mr. Two okay. Weeks Out. Gotcha, gotcha. So I go over, I call them. I'm like, where are you at? They're like, the loft. We go to the loft, and I sit down with them for three hours, and I'm just breaking down their Shopify, their ads, everything they're doing right and wrong. Mm-hmm. And then that from that day, that year, they ended up doing a million dollars in sales uh, from that one conversation. Wow. So then. Literally a million dollars worth of game. Getting literally like no cap made of the game. So, so then after that, I started to see Jason posting mm-hmm. every Friday. They were doing masterminds, and mm-hmm. it was like Jason and Neo and Him Five Hundred and mm-hmm. all these people. So I'm just trolling him, like I'm like, yeah, y'all old, y'all old dudes, y'all don't got the real game, bro. Yeah. Like y'all need some, y'all need <laughs> yeah, some yeah. young blood in the building. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So a couple of masterminds go by, they don't invite me, and then uh, one comes by, and then Jason sends me an invite. Yeah. I go there. First person I sit down next to is Neo. Mm-hmm. And I sit down next to Neo. You know, Neo real direct. Mm-hmm. He like, hey, what you do, man? <laughs> <laughs> what you do, bro? And I was like, I, and you know me, I'm chill. I'm like, I just sell clothes, bro. Yeah. And yeah. then he's like, how much money you make this month doing it? And I, was <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, you know, like six, I was like, let me, let me check 600,000, 650,000 that month. And yeah. then he was like, you teach anybody how to do it? And then I was like, no, nah, I just do the business. Yeah. And then he was like, well, that's kind of selfish, don't you think? Like, <laughs> you know, you can make 650000 in the teaching just right. like you did in the business, and you would help a lot of people. Mm-hmm. So he was like, man, just go go write an ebook or something. Like, just write everything down that you know. Mm-hmm. And then I ended up writing it all down. And then that was that was it. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just put this out. So I put it out on my birthday, and it did well. A couple thousand bucks, like nothing crazy. Yeah, right. And then from there, I was just like, as I started to feel that transition of, like, trying to help more people in the space, mm-hmm. I was like, let me take this seriously. And then I just started diving all the way in. So the motivation from uh, Neo to just get into the digital space Mm -hmm. turned into me really wanting to know everything about it because I'm just that type, like where I get in, I want to be obsessed about it. So that just turned into, well, the ebook's cool, but then like the ebook, what about like going live and then going to the master classes for free? And then wait, people are selling coaching programs and 25K done for you. And I'm like, oh, so then I just learned the whole thing top to bottom. Got you. The thing, the thing I love about you, bro, like you obsess about things that you want to do. You don't just tiptoe to anything. Anything you do, you're like, yo, I'm I'm a rabbit hole deep. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna figure this thing out. And I distinctly remember last time we talked, you were not posting on social media. Yeah. You, didn't, you didn't make content at all. I'm like, JP, you leave a thousand. Yeah, I remember. I was going to your page. Like, yeah, I'm like, J- like four posts. Four, four posts. Like, yeah, like, like for 2018. Like three months ago. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like yeah. bro, like, I'm like, you leave it. That's crazy. I almost forgot about that. No, bro. Yeah. bro. That's crazy, bro. He didn't post for months. And I'm like, bro, you leave it tens of thousands of dollars on the table. Like, bro, I just, I'm, I don't have time for posting. It's just not what I want to do. It's crazy that wasn't that long ago. I'm, I'm just, but it, because you're going so crazy now, it's like drowned it out. I forgot, but that, yeah, that's wild. Yeah, yeah. That's just the type of person that I, that I feel I am. Like, my thing is, I'm very simple. If I try something and it works, I become the best at it. That's it. So I, <laughs> I was like, like that. that's, that's it. Simple, man. <laughs> that's it. Right. So I'm like, all right, I'm not posting. So this is what happened. Mm-hmm. I wasn't, I did a, a webinar for a week and mm-hmm. I didn't promote it at all just straight cold ads mm-hmm. and then i had spent like thirty thousand that week mm-hmm. and then we ended up no forty thousand that week and then we ended up doing 70k on the webinar mm-hmm. so i was like all right 30k profit I'm like that's what's up yeah. mm-hmm. then the next week i said all right the only thing i'm gonna change is i'm gonna post one time per day on social media mm-hmm. i did that and i tripled the revenue and i was like i'll be posting every day for the rest of the <laughs> 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 that's it so, so then from there it was like all right if that's what i'm gonna be doing then i have to find a content style that makes sense for me mm-hmm. a content style that's valuable that mm-hmm. i can always post about right. and then that will always keep my revenue tripling and then after that 
I got into the content side and I started obsessing about that. Like, how can I make every piece of content go viral? And like, mm. what's the play? How do I make sure that my content isn't fatiguing and it's boring or I'm talking right. about the same thing all the time? So, and if you want to, you know, yeah, yeah, get, look, look, we, we all get you right. Once another, <laughs> because right now with Instagram in particular, right, people are struggling, right? It's mm-hmm. like the, the views are down, the comments are down, the engagement is down. Not his. Not on JP's page. <laughs> right? not, over here, not on this side. So talk to us about the thought. <laughs> no, you made me mad, bro. What made me mad, dog, is I'm sitting here telling you, if you were posting that, man, I post two, three times a day, man. You got to get on the side. And then like. Uh, two months ago, I'm calling JP. Hey, man, I need help with content. <laughs> like, <laughs> teach me how to do this, man. <laughs> like it's I, crazy. I show you how to do this. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 humble, humble. Yeah. So, so, t- so help help the people out, right? Because people are struggling. Their engagement's down, and here you are going viral at every post, right? Y'all see, y'all seen the infamous. Yeah, yeah. you started you know that. Said? You started that. Y'all you seen that, that, right? So, just walk us through the mental process of how you got there and figured it out. Figured okay. out the science of this is going to work. It's really crazy because the really the only thing I did was just test out a, f- a bunch of different things. Mm-hmm. And then I tested out podcast clips. I tested out point up video. I tested out uh, infographics or whatever. And then tweets. The, the, oh, I just tried it all out. Yeah. And then the point up video did the best. And I said, all right, that works. I'm going to do triple amount, the amount of inputs that like that's it. I was like, all right, this works do it more and then i but then after doing it more i I started to talk about like the details inside of all of it so there's Mm -hmm. a way in which to craft this content to make it go viral and there's software as well as involved to make it go viral too so now i'm just like obsessing about every detail so Mm -hmm. in the point up i tested pointing up and shaking your head no versus pointing up and shaking your head yes pointing up and smiling or pointing up and frowning and what i realized was is that the pointing up shaking your head no and then dropping your head down it's actually a very negative it's negative connotation so but negativity spreads much faster than positivity so what i realized was is that in the videos where i was shaking my head no and she's going down people felt like they were being reprimanded for not having the information that i was sharing and then i also tested talking about talking with my original voice Mm -hmm. versus doing the siri style voice no one knew me or my voice. They know the Siri style voice because it's going viral on TikTok. Mm-hmm. So the combination of the Siri style voice with shaking my head no and reprimanding and then getting into the information, that hook alone is what kept people to watch the rest of the video. Got so that's just one piece. And I break down every piece like that to we can go further if you, if you guys want. Yeah, I mean, first of all, you, I, I called you, you ain't tell me this part. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> but like, that's what I mean, bro, about being operating in excellence. Most people don't have the bandwidth to go that deep. The depth, right? People, most people want to go wide and fast, right? Yeah. And he's going pause, by the way. Right. <laughs> he's, going, <laughs> he's going deep on this, right? And it's just, it's, it's almost refreshing because we're living in this society where everybody wants everything so fast. They don't want to do the work and wonder why they're not getting the results. Right. right? And they're looking at you. They're, they're probably looking at it just like, oh, I can do this too. And I was I, looking at it like that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Why, why is it not working for me? They don't realize the depth behind right. the scenes, the background work that yeah. you're doing. But I think that this is a good point to make too, because what I realized about it was that <laughs> this is the thing. I first I got consistent and then I got really good. Gotcha. So I got consistent and I liken it to this, like posting a YouTube video once a week. Uh-huh. That's cool. But Mr. Beast posts a video a month, but it hits much harder. Mm-hmm. So for me, instead of being consistent every mm-hmm. day or multiple times a day, because people right. have got to post three, five times a day. I'm like, no, mm-hmm. I'm going to post one video that's going to get more traction Crazy. than all of your videos just from mastering the technique. Right. So that's the take that I took on it versus gotcha. just trying to be all there all the time. It's like, no, I'm going to yeah. do one thing right and yeah. master it. And then I'll. And I even look at it like content, like on TV, like your, your favorite show or whatever, right? Like. They'll drop their 10 episode season. You won't see them for a year, but but they still have a little fan base because of how quality the right. content is, right? Yep. So we've been led to believe we gotta show up three, four, or five times a day, but the content isn't that isn't that fire and right. it doesn't really matter. So I kinda like I like that thought. And process. then what I realized too is that to even go into the um, the show style, mm-hmm. what I realized too is that I was having conversations with all these masterminds mm-hmm. and they're like, Justin, I binge watch your Instagram like a Netflix show. So I realized that I had to make the content so good to where mm. people were now showing me folders of I have a Justin P saved folder <laughs> yeah. of information. So my 
my ideal uh, ideology on it now is like if the content isn't good enough to be saved in someone's folder mm. then it shouldn't even be posted because now what i'm realizing is that the compound interest over time is right. what's really snowballing the growth and the growth of the business because right. now someone comes to my page and mm. immediately they're sharing it with five to ten friends and they're watching and being indoctrinated and they're saving everything sharing everything so now at first i was gaining 100 followers a day mm -hmm. then it turned into a thousand a day now i'm getting like 10,000 followers a day because it's just the <laughs> compound interest of that's everything crazy. that's been going being shared all at one time wow that's, yeah, that's crazy bro that's yeah incredible. yeah so 400,000 followers in like the last 90 days yeah right people like you said um uh how many like what's the, some celebrities right oh uh, yeah chris jenner um joe budden mm -hmm. kate camp dapper dan Steve Aoki, just a bunch of random like Yeah, yeah. But they probably want to get in the clothing industry, but nobody's broken it down right. as good. So do you, honestly, do you get flack from people? Because if, if I was in a clothing game, <laughs> I would probably be pissed. Like, yo, he's giving away everything. You always have to play like the gatekeepers, say I should take right. this down. Like, like do, you get, do you get flack for like giving away this much free game, bro? I think so. I mean, I would assume so. <laughs> yeah. But the way that I look at it now is two ways. One is that my goal is to breed innovation. And mm. now my goal is because I don't even see myself as like a course creator, content creator, et cetera. I see mm. myself as like someone that like owns media companies, tech, SaaS products, mm. et cetera. Mm. So what I'm doing right now, my goal is actually to put out this free information to make and force innovation in my space. But now I create the software that solves the innovation problem that's been mm. created. So my goal is that it's just so if I'm making people mad, I get it. Like I understand. But my goal is to bring innovation to the space and then I'll create it. And then also my second thing is, is like this information, most of it's public knowledge. I just right. am disciplined enough to go find it and talk about it. Mm -hmm. So now it's just like, bro, a lot of people don't have the ability to travel to Pakistan to right. go find a manufacturer or they don't have a computer. So mm -hmm. Messing around, following me, you get all of the information. Fuck <laughs> around, because, find out. Because if somebody, right. if somebody is mad, like even a big brand or something, it's just like, bro, like if you really care about right. the people that you're servicing, then right. you would give them this information. So I'm just doing it myself since no one else will. Here, here's the truth. I'm looking at the camera on this one. Here's the truth of the matter, right? The truth of the matter is, unfortunately, hopefully, it's not you. Y'all not gonna execute, no way, <laughs> right? Like he's give like people will complain, right? Mm -hmm. They stockpile, they are saving the information. Some people, not all of them, are saving, saving, saving. How many manufacturers have you reached out to? How many free Shopify subscriptions? Like right. he's giving y'all everything. I'm telling y'all this because when I needed some help in my brand, and he gave me the sauce. I'm like, oh, like not only is he giving y'all everything, he's giving y'all even more. It's an <laughs> upgraded game. Yeah. And so I'm I'm saying this jokingly because I want y'all to execute. Because when somebody actually has the heart to give at this scale, do you, it's it's what do you always say? It's, it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's one thing I love about Carter, bro. Like, for, oh, he will run the play. Oh, he will run the play. That's why anytime I see Carter, I feel. And this is for anybody else who's listening too. If mm -hmm. you're looking for a mentor or whatever, anytime that the most best thing you can do for a mentor is just run the play that they That's gave it. you. Yeah. So, and I'm not saying Carter's a mentor to me. Friends or friends. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. you know, he, I give him. I need. To, I feel bad not sharing information with Carter because mm -hmm. I know he's going to execute on right. it. So, you know, for anybody that's listening too, that's the best respect you can pay to anyone. Yeah, because yeah. somebody spend the time giving you the game. The best thing you can do for them is not show them that they're wasting their breath. Right. It's like, bro, like. I just spent time that people pay me for to give you game. You ain't run it. I'm not giving you free game no more. But when you run it and it works and you call the person with the results, like, yo, JP, I just did this. It's just like literally you gave me a play or adding one thing to my page that's making me extra $10,000 a week. I'm like, yo, JP, it worked. You're like, I bet. All right, here's the next play. Like, right, you know exactly. Saying? So it's, it's dope yeah. when you actually run the plays to get the, to, yeah. to get the game. thousand percent. Now, now, so you're, you're all right, dominant, dominating the clothing space, right? But now... You are helping digital entrepreneurs like me, mm -hmm. who I thought I was great. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but digital entrepreneurs like me, like, you know, really 10x our business. Like, you've probably made me an extra $100,000 a month in the last two, three months of just phone conversation and text. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, like, what made you kind of want to get into this space and start helping, like, digital entrepreneurs? To yeah. Get, you know? The biggest thing was for me, I was doing a lot of like business with the physical products, but it felt kind of like transactional where mm -hmm. it's just like, I give you a piece of cotton and you give me money. But mm -hmm. it was cool because we had a message behind the brand. Mm -hmm. right. But then I was like, damn, if I teach Carter 
mm-hmm. how to teach thousands of people, there Better. was much more yeah. impact for me. It's so, a ripple effect. Yeah, because it was yeah. like one-on-one combat with garments, which had a great cause, and I love that, mm-hmm. but versus one-on-one, which affects millions. It just felt like more impacting to me. So that's why I kind of like shifted my focus there. Dope. So so walk us through, since you're going to be helping people do what you do, right? Walk us through like, what is, some people are listening to this, they don't even understand like, Digital entrepreneurship. In my, is, is it an ebook? Is it a mastermind? Is it like walk us through like kind of the components of what you've been able to create yeah. and how you help people grow and scale that? Yeah, sure. So, yeah. what I do in the business now is we have a bunch of like lower ticketed products, ebooks, mm-hmm. mini courses, etc. Mm-hmm. And then we have like I'll call it like our flagship product is our mm-hmm. course, mm-hmm. which is fourteen ninety seven currently. And then from there, our accelerator program fifty eight hundred dollars currently. Mm-hmm. And then obviously like higher ticketed stuff as well. Okay. So essentially, when I'm talking about like digital products in general right. it's anyone that has a specialized knowledge that okay. wants to be able to teach that to somebody else yeah. and the thing that people get caught up on is that they think that it has to have extraordinary monetary value mm-hmm. and i'm like no bro you don't have to do extraordinary things as far as money mm-hmm. you can do anything extraordinary right. for example ellie if she drops an ebook tomorrow about how she manages a multi-million dollar business while also having four children extraordinary mm-hmm. how do you even manage four children in general in general right. is yeah. extraordinary yeah, yeah, yeah so she just needs to be able to teach that or like anything right. like that something extraordinary it's something right. extraordinary in general not money so um yeah so we teach people how to package up the extraordinary right. information that they have inside of themselves right. and then disseminate it in whichever way makes sense for their best customer whether it be ebook course okay accelerator program etc and because you do everything in excellence is part of what you teach people, like literally how it should be structured and packaged up. Okay. Yeah, Got for it. sure. Cause that's like a lot of people put out a lot of bullshit. I'm like, I'm yeah. Shit. I think the good thing is that anything that I've been teaching is always something that I've either done at a high level or mm-hmm. I am doing at a high level. So the reason I'm able to talk to people, digital creators right. is like, I just ran this play yesterday and made a hundred thousand dollars. So yeah. you should do it tomorrow. No, it's not, it's not theoretical. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. I yeah. Got you. Um, so w- one thing, cause this is, this is gonna be like a digital masterclass. So if y'all yeah. watching at home, thank us later. <laughs> thank, th- th- thank us later. So it's all so separately. Yeah, it, 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 exactly. So one of the things that you do and you do very well is webinars, mm. right? Can you like, just, just talk a little bit about the extraordinary, mm. how webinars have, developed your business okay. and, and master classes and, and this, your, your teaching style that's really helped get your customers to help find yeah. you and, and be able to tap in with you. Love webinars. One of my I was favorites. I was against it, bro. You said people, 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 people will say webinars are dead. It doesn't work anymore. But wow. clearly, yeah. that's not true. <laughs> clearly, right? Yeah. yeah, no. So I love webinars because they do three things. They increase your income, your influence, and your impact. Mm-hmm. So for me, I get to teach thousands of people for free. And if they get the game and go use it, great. That's what's up. Like, go kill it. That's impact. But I also did that and taught them something for free. So now Mm -hmm. I'm they're influenced by me because I I sat there with you for an hour and a half. So now when I do my lives, Mm -hmm. 600, 800 people showing up because Mm -hmm. I'm building that weekly cadence and deliverability to them. And then obviously you make a little bit of money if you do a good job at doing it. So you make a lot of money, you do a great job at doing (laughs) it. This this guy, this guy, this guy. guy. So that's why I love the webinars. And then also it's a way to, um, it's a way to, acquire customers too um, and get paid mm-hmm. to acquire customers because you might spend, let's just say 30 to $50,000 mm-hmm. and then you might make $70,000 on the webinar. Mm-hmm. But then those are people that have paid to get information from you that mm-hmm. you can then sell into higher ticketed programs if they're the right fit for it. Right. So I guess just to like, we can go, we can do let's a go there. full masterclass. Hey, here. Let's go there. Let's go. Let's do yeah, it. So, um, my, my homie, my homie want to know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'll try to be, I'll try to be brief on like each part of it. Okay. Um, more of the story. So let's just talk about even getting people to the masterclass. Right. Okay. So, Let's just talk about if we're going to do it ads. Content is simple. Give away your best information for free. And then at the end of it, just be like, click the link below or comment the word, whatever, to right. get invited to the masterclass. Free resource for everybody. You want to get mini chat attached to your Instagram. You, t- you told me that shit. I'm like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when he called me. I, okay, he's, he's like, I was like, I was he's like why? I got the phone with JP, bro. Commenting on all these, all, all these. How's he doing? How's he doing this? Yeah. And he, but you told him what the play was. Right. Yeah. So, so quick play there. 
let's just say you don't have enough money to spend money in ads, whatever. Yeah. That's fine. So you make a good piece of content using a strategy we talked about earlier. At the end, you say comment the word e-com or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And you have a software called mini chat attached to your Instagram, $15 mm -hmm. a month. And what it does is every time someone comments a specific keyword, mm -hmm. they'll get an automatic DM to their DM. So now the automatic keyword ecom is sending them a link to my training. So now I just put out good content all day and get hundreds of leads. But think about what it does too. If hundreds of people are commenting ecom, then that's telling people or telling Instagram that it's this post is post. a good post. So now the post is going viral forced because people are getting good information and commenting yeah. within the first 10 minutes. Yeah. And then I'm commenting back in the first 10 minutes automatically. So now the comments are doubling or tripling within the first five to 10 minutes. So now Instagram thinks this is a great post. Let's make it go viral. And then I'm also getting a ton of leads from it too. What's so crazy about that is you said that so casually, right? Like just, Spill sauce everywhere. Just said it casually. Pick it up. <laughs> what's so crazy is that that's why it's so important to get access to the right information, the right people, because you probably have people, well, not after watching this episode, but looking at your posts, looking at your company, like how? And right. thinking like, how does he have time? Like he's like, and they don't realize there's this systems and infrastructure and technology right. and strategy. Right. Their plans, you told me, playing full court basketball with Tim's on. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> with no socks, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Um, and so it's just so, it's so important. Again, we try to do the same thing with this podcast. Obviously the podcast is free, but like it's so important to yeah. get connected to the right people. No, you know what I'm saying? And the right information. A thousand percent. So, and then that's just the first part, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. just keep going, bro. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> so to. you get people to come to the class because they get that link, mm -hmm. right? And then, of course, they come to the class, and now you have the webinar, right? So there's four parts to a, a good webinar, in my opinion. You have the intro, mm -hmm. you have the content, you have the transition, and then mm -hmm. you have the close. Mm -hmm. So the intro is all about authority building, celebrity recent results and then testimonials from some of your customers because mm -hmm. my goal and then also to boost up the market that you're in because right. if they don't understand the vehicle that you're putting them in then they don't want to make a decision in general anyways right, right. so i have to first get you to understand why i'm credible to listen to mm -hmm. and then also why this vehicle is a good vehicle to get into gotcha. so you want to make it seem and it should be if you're right. an ethical player right. that this is a great time and place to get into this business and mm -hmm. it should be so right. that's intro then you have content Give away all of your best information for free, mm -hmm. but <laughs> give it away, but give it away in a way that will remove the limiting beliefs that surround your actual business model. Cause the, cause the, cause the pushback is going to be, well, if I give it all away for free, how can I sell the I, why would they buy from me? But you're showing people like what they need to do and maybe a little bit of how, mm -hmm. but ultimately you're, you're letting them know like, Oh, I can do this, but wait, I need more help. Yeah. If I'm going to actually try to go ahead and do Cause this. at the end of the day, I can't teach you everything about taxes in right. an yeah. hour and a half. Yeah. It's not it's not possible. Right. So the way that you separate it in the webinars is by three secrets, three keys, whatever. Mm -hmm. The first key is the vehicle. Mm -hmm. So I need you to understand that the vehicle that you're in right now is not getting you to the destination that you want to go to. Mm -hmm. Right. So, OK, well, but don't feel bad about it. Mm -hmm. Somebody told you to get into that vehicle. So it's not your fault. Mm -hmm. You just got told the wrong thing. Right. But look at this new character right. that is in the right vehicle that's right. showing you how to get it done mm -hmm. and then you throw rocks at all the people that told them the wrong thing right yo they told you drop shipping products was going to be good mm -hmm. but you do that for three months the fad goes away now where's your business mm -hmm. at they told you to do amazon fba and of course i have friends that do all this stuff love them to death they, right. but you know, we do this to each other <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> they told you to do amazon but they're not giving you the email and phone number of your customer how do you truly build a business what if jeff bezos says hey our fee is now 50 percent mm -hmm. then what Right. So I just go through all of the reasons. Right. Gotcha. And then now that's the intro. Okay. Then you go into, uh, excuse me, yeah, intro, then content. Now mm -hmm. you go into the transition. This is where typically people really mess up because they don't like to sell. And one thing that I've, I didn't like to sell. I didn't like to post content. Yeah, I didn't yeah, like doing yeah. none of this. When, it, when, yeah. when, you, when you attach something, you go all in. We know that. All so right. what I realized was this, though. I had two realizations. First realization that I had was that. If you truly believe that your product is the best on the marketplace, you have a moral obligation to sell it to people. Mm -hmm. Because if not, they're going to go buy from BS, somebody else. BS right. from somebody yeah. else yeah. that won't help them. Number two, you don't realize how many people's purpose is attached to you selling them the answer. <laughs> so you don't understand how many per people's purpose is attached to your, your offer. Mm -hmm. So 
I had a friend and he was like, yo, bro, I want to help a bunch of kids. Like, that's my goal. That's my purpose. Mm -hmm. And he had an idea for a business that he wanted to start. A year went by. He didn't execute on that idea. And he kept telling me about it. So me and Cart, we executed. So I'm like, bro, don't yeah. talk to me about it if you're not mm -hmm. executing yeah, on it. Yeah, 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 so then, right. and then he was like, what you mean? I said, bro, you said that you want to help kids, but you haven't started the business in over a year or two. Imagine how many kids purpose is attached to what you are just being mm -hmm. too lazy to execute on. So you're, I'm mad because you're not helping millions of children because you're right. so worried about whatever limiting you belief that you have about the business right. and starting it. Yeah. We just did a podcast with Ash Cash. And he said like, you're the, you're, you're the delivery person and you have a, a gift to deliver, but you're mad or you don't want to deliver it because the packaging is not perfect. Right. He's like, how would you feel if Amazon held your, held your product because they the said, box Oh, the box was dented. <laughs> You'll be pissed. Hey, Aren't you tired of buying courses in those emotional states when you want to get a result, but then you actually don't do anything with the course? Do you know on average, the completion rate for a course is about 2%? But here's the thing, it's not entirely your fault. The problem is you buy the course, but you don't have access to the source who actually created it. See, that's why we're doing something different. With the Melon and Millionaire Club, you're not just gonna get access to courses. You'll get access to the people who created it so you can get your questions answered. Because it's not just about learning, it's about taking that, that information so you can start earning. So the Melon and Millionaire Club is gonna give you access to courses, but not just that, it's an entire university of information. We have financial flicks, we have all pre, uh, hundreds of previous recordings, but more than that, y'all, we have an amazing community of people just like you who are trying to become a first generation millionaire. So like GA said, like you can survive without community, but you can't thrive without community. So this is the place you need to be, right? 100%, because here's the thing. If it was just about information, we'd all be billionaires with six packs. So that's why every single Monday, we're gonna set the tone for your week with Melanin Millionaire Mondays, where our entire community is gonna meet up, the energy is gonna be high, we're gonna set the intention for what we're gonna execute on so we can move the needle forward and Carter and I and the rest of our team can keep you accountable. So, so that's enough information. You see the rest <laughs> in the club. All you gotta do, click the link below, sign up and start your journey to your first millionaire year. Let's get it. Man. Let's go. So like you know, you people are pissed because you, you you're not perfect and you don't fuck like, you know the packaging is good, but you have a gift. People just want the package. Right. They don't necessarily care, care how it's delivered. No, for real. That's great. Yeah. And and then lastly, so you got the transition, and the transition is important because that, like I said, people don't like to sell, mm -hmm. but you have to. I like to sell kind of from my back foot, and then also I like to get permission to sell. Mm -hmm. So I'll just be like, hey. Did I deliver on the promise that I said that I was going to give you? Right. Yeah, you did. Do I have your permission to show you something that I know to be, I know to be true is going to be the best way for you to be successful in this business? Mm -hmm. I do. Cool. Because if not, we can stop the class right now. I already have money and this will not change my life at all. I promise right. you that. So, OK, cool. We do. I do have your permission. Mm -hmm. Great. It is. I did deliver. All right, great. So this is what I have to to say or have to offer. Right. And then lastly, you go into the close. And that's where the whole presentation was tackling the emotional beliefs and the, you mm -hmm. know, mental issues, things that they were going through. Right. And then the rest of it is logical. So because they're only going to justify the emotional purchase with logic. Right. Right. So we get through the emotions and the limiting beliefs. And then we get into the logic behind it to back the reason why they're making this emotional decision. Yeah. And that's what you do in the close. Powerful. Bro, if y'all just if y'all just take that framework, hear me like I'm serious. If you all take that framework, you can like you cannot not make ten thousand dollars a month. Like with a small audience, with a small audience, no ads. If you take that framework on posting with a call to action, getting people to the class, follow the framework of teaching and the closing process to whatever offer you have. You can't not make ten thousand dollars a month, and that's a hundred thousand dollars a year. That's what most people are. That's their first goal. You know what I'm saying? So you can you you just follow that. You can achieve your first goal um, this year or next month if you execute. Right? We just get you out of the game. Now, what I love about it, this is what you do differently from other people. Is that's not it. When somebody buys a course, one thing I learned from my mentor is the best time to sell somebody something. It's right after they already bought. Right. So you have a back end framework that you do, if you mind sharing. Yeah. yeah that 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 just took your business, and when you told me, it took my business just to a whole another stratosphere. Yeah. Um, can you just talk about that a little bit? Yeah, sure. So what I started to do was, I started to realize that you know, like George said earlier, not everybody's even opening the course yeah, at all. Right. Right. 
crazy, but I, right. I get it. You know, yeah. people busy, whatever it may be. Right. So what I started to do was structuring the sales calls as support calls. So I realized people weren't opening the course. So I just said, all right, we have these people's information. Let's call them and make sure that they're they're good. They're not opening the course. So let's yeah. see what's going on. Yeah, you know what's sauce <laughs> inside of it? You're like, bro, just right. open the box. Right. That's yeah. it. Yeah. So the team started calling them. Hey, do you have all of your credentials? Mm -hmm. Do you like, are you good? Did you get inside? Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're like, yeah, just, you know, like whatever, Life. whatever. And then I'm like, okay, I get it. But then one person was like, well, do you need a little bit more of Justin's help to like, walk you through the process mm -hmm. because you don't necessarily believe that you can do it by yourself, even though you have the information. And then they're like, you know what? Yeah. yeah. And then I'm like, Oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm like, cool. We are just going to call everybody that jumps into the course, make sure that they have their credentials mm -hmm. and then also offer to them. Hey, if you want to book a call to yeah. work with Justin and his team more closely, right. then you can do that as of now. So now every sale that we make in the business is mm -hmm. now pretty much a book call. So that's why I said, it's kind of like you're acquiring higher ticketed customers by right. doing the webinars for free. Right. So now we're just booking calls with a hundred percent of the people that come through the the, the class yeah and, and for those of you all that don't think this is going to work i literally took this framework ran the play because what i do um did a class last last wednesday um had a person buy the course hopped on the phone he's like yeah the course is cool i went over carter how much <laughs> like twenty five thousand. he's like okay send me the invoice sent us twenty five thousand dollar wire came to a, a, a event that we just had this past weekend and we offered it to him like, hey, like, you know, not only do you get, you get to work with Carter, but how would you like to go to, go with Carter to Greece and work with him for a longer time period? He said, bet, send me the invoice. So this one cu customer that I paid maybe a couple of dollars to acquire right. has made me one person $40,000 in a week. Crazy. In a week. Crazy. Mm. If I didn't offer him the, the opportunity to work with me, the offer you don't make is the offer they can't take. Why, why did Mercedes make, start making the Maybach? They got tired of sending the people to Lamborghini and Rolls Royce to get another. Right. Yeah. And then that's that's not even, I, I just feel necessary to, to spill as much sauce as possible with you gentlemen. <laughs> we, we, we greatly appreciate hey, it. Hey, hey, it's, it's, what, it's what got you here. You <laughs> give, give it as much sauce as possibly can. Do your thing, brother. But no, another thing that we started doing too was we realized a lot of people's like payments were getting declined as well. But mm -hmm. it's just because like the bank was like having issues or whatever. Yeah. So we started to have closers on the webinars with us and then they call everybody who put their information in that declined and then you just, you can scrape up maybe 5 10 15k a webinar just by calling the people whose payments got de declined and they, they yeah. wanted the stuff they but the bank was just it. like right, but they right, couldn't right. so yeah. you just you know hey you want to do any other payment plans like you know or payment options yeah. PayPal Venmo Cash App crypto I don't Whatever. give a damn <laughs> I'm leaving with something I'm leaving I'm leaving I'm leaving I'm leaving with something, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving with something. <laughs> oh. oh my god if man. you want to spice it up a little bit more <laughs> A lot of people, well, some people will, um, they'll put a live chat on their sales page. Mm -hmm. So when someone hits the sales page, you add a live chat feature to it. Mm -hmm. So if someone has a question about something with, before they make the buy in action, because the yeah. people who failed, that's only the people whose payment failed because they made the decision. But a right. lot of people don't even make the decision mm -hmm. unless they talk to somebody. So right. we'll have live VAs answering whatever question that they need on the sales page. And, you know. All these little so, incremental. You, you see why tweets. I have a headache every time I get off the phone with him? <laughs> I'll call you, then I'll call George. Like, bro, he blew my head off again. <laughs> All these little incremental tweets. Yeah. I'm going to water it. <laughs> Chew it on Jesus. all this information. <laughs> right. Um, That's crazy. He didn't even mention the bridge sale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. Mm. Uh, look. <laughs> all right, all right, yeah. Um, so, obviously, you can help a lot of um, digital entrepreneurs get to, you know, increase their revenue 5, 10, you know, 15 X. Right. Um, what do you think your plan is going to be going forward? Cause like yeah. well, I'm your friend. Right. Thank God. I can get this. <laughs> I, I can get the sauce from you. Right. Well, like, what if there's other digital entrepreneurs in this space is like, yo, like I, you know, I know that JP has a program where he helps other people in clothing. Right. Like, do you think you ever come out with a program that help like high level entrepreneurs become better yeah. or, 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 or anybody that's for that matter. That's yeah, for, yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. So that's what my goal is for my birthday this year. So mm -hmm. I turned 20, what I'm turning 29 
And um, I'm 30 years old yet. <laughs> pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> I turned 29 and on July 12th. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing something where we're gonna actually release a uh, coaching program. So right now I'm just spending the rest of this these months just ironing it out. Yeah, putting the course together going deep in my hole and just yeah. building it all out. And then we're going to launch a program for people that, you know, even like people like Carter, people like yeah. myself or someone that just has an idea of like, I want to help people do X and they don't right. know how to package it. So right. we're going to be able to take people. My goal is to take any person with an idea mm -hmm. to take them to five to 10 K a month within like the first 90 days. Right. Or if someone is like coming in a position where they like already doing five, 10 K, mm -hmm. my goal is to bare minimum, get them to a place to where they're doubling or tripling the revenue that they're doing within 90 days. But my actual internal goal yeah. is just getting them to like four or 500,000 a month. Just like four, 500 a month. So keep, so keep the lights on. So, well, congratulations to those who are going to take action on that, on his birthday. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, man, this is crazy. Yeah, I mean, I, bro, that's, like, that's what happens every time I'm on the phone with. And just so y'all know, like, just real, I, I, I'm sure he's just giving me, like, he's testing the program out on me to make, to refine it, to make it best for y'all. That's exactly so what's happening. I, so I'm yeah. doing this for y'all. That's like, what I feel like <laughs> happened when he gave me the e-com game in 20... Was it 2020 or 2021? One of them. Yeah. And I saw he was the game he was giving away. I was like, oh, okay. So he got that plus more. Yeah. Um, but, but it works, y'all. Like, y'all just got to exit. I, I know it's working on the e-com side, so I can only imagine how it's going to work on the coaching side. Oh and I think to his point, like, how many people you get to impact because it's like you're now impacting coaches and mm -hmm. educators or people who didn't know how to package up their genius and now they impact a thousand people that indirectly mean you got a chance to impact those people right. and just like the ripple effect of impact I think that's that's the big thing right yeah, it's like nah, that's yeah, a big goal. Yeah, you make a couple dollars right yeah, like yeah. Couple, yeah. couple couple five couple, 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 somebody told me this bro I don't remember who it was but it hit me so hard bro yeah. he was like everybody's focused on passive income but no one's focused on passive impact and then just say that again <laughs> it was like everybody's focused on passive income but no one's focused on passive impact mm -hmm. so what i realized was is that if i keep trying to work so hard to just make myself passive income that's cool and i'll be rich doing it mm -hmm. but if i can get people like carter george right. whoever to making passive income for themselves i'm right. gonna have passive impact through impacting their students mm -hmm. and then i'm gonna reap all of the benefits from being able to do that so right. the passive impact is producing the passive income for me okay this, this is a personal question man we gave a lot of game i think people need to get to know you a little bit more sure. and i'm just something i'm curious about sure. you are the most giving person i know oh wow like no 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 no, no cap like no disrespect any, any other friend like you just you just give dude like Every time you get a chance to give, you just give. When did that happen? Why are you the way you are? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I think that it happened because I spent a lot of time like getting rid of my ego, bro. Like, I truly feel like I have nothing to gain, nothing to lose, nothing to prove to nobody. Mm -hmm. And when I got into that space like that, I realized that no one was competition, even if they sell the exact same thing as me. Ted sells the same exact thing as me, and I teach him everything that I know. Because some people are going to want to learn from Tez. Some people aren't going to want to learn from Tez. They want to learn from me. So when I got to a place of where there was nothing to gain, nothing to lose, nothing to prove, and no competition, I was just mm -hmm. like, all of this information is not for me. It's for other people. And I'm just like, I would be wrong to just hold on to it. So I just give it away. Because right. what I realize is that as I give it away, I learn better as I teach it. And mm -hmm. I also cement it more in my head as I teach other people. That's fact. And when I realized that too, I was like, all right. It's kind of like when we were talking about yesterday when you were on stage and you were like, you, you, uh, what is like teach from or teach from behind? Oh, and yeah. Then invest yeah, for Invest for Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. I do the same thing. So it's like, but I do it with knowledge. So mm -hmm. I like gain more knowledge and then just like give it all. So yeah. I try to empty out my knowledge tank as fast as possible so that I can go out and get more and just like keep mm -hmm. giving it away. Yeah. Cause so. when, you, when you teach it, you learn it again. So yeah. like by the time you give it, that means you've mastered it. Yeah. And then, all right, now, because I mastered it, it's not taking up a mental right. like storage in my mind because right. I have it mastered already. Yeah. Right. Now I have the bandwidth to go go get more information. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, bro. I just I feel like I got rid of my ego, bro. And that's the biggest thing in this space too, because it's just like 
you want to get to a hundred thousand and a million and 10 and a hundred, right. you got to become a different person every step of the way. Right. But you also have to eliminate your ego every step of the way too. Because at first you're like, I'm the best at customer service. And then you're like, no, this VA can do that better than me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. you're like, I'm the best at managing people. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, this person that's been managing people for 30 years. <laughs> right, right, then right. you're like, I'm the CEO. I have the best vision for this company. But then there's a CEO that was a CEO for 20 years that actually has a bigger vision for your own company than you do. So, but Crazy. what type of ego do you have to let go of to be able to get into that place? Mm -hmm. So I realized that all of these like, you know, founders and whatnot, they're not always a CEO of their business. Right. So why do I feel the need to be a CEO? Right. I can just be truly a visionary and just doing exactly what I want to do. So, but it takes a certain level of ego relinquishing at every step of the way to even get to that place. So right. I worked a lot on building the knowledge and the information, but mm -hmm. I worked equally as hard as letting go of my, my ego and need for status and outward things and whatnot. It's powerful. Cause you, and you don't buy things. Like, this is another yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Run up a bag. You so what did you with all this money? Yeah. <laughs> I'm calling up Carter like, bro. bro uh, I'm like, you gotta spend some of it, dog. You gotta spend a little bit of it, bro. Um, so I guess, you know, uh, going forward, like, what's some of your bigger goals, um, you know, this year, or just, or just going forward, man, like some things that yeah. you're just thinking of accomplishing? Yeah. Um, goal this year is uh, I'm challenging myself to get the, the 10X award by Funnel Hacking Live. Okay. Um, you know, just want to try it out. Then. <laughs> Not so I'm like, <laughs> and clarify 10x award is you having to do eight figures uh, yeah you gotta do 10 million in the business within a calendar year yeah. so i mean i just started doing taking the digital stuff seriously maybe mm -hmm. like five months ago and so now it's like all right but I, I hit two comic club already so i'm like all right well a few times and then now i'm like <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, and i promise you know i'm not, I'm not yeah i know it. but, yeah, 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 yeah. but and then, so now i'm trying to go to 10 and then uh from there i'm looking at a way to build it to where it's like actually like an academy and it's not more so me and mm -hmm. i think that you know you guys are doing a great job at that too so because mm -hmm. i realized that an academy actually has enterprise value and you mm -hmm. can exit it versus being a personal brand it's very difficult to exit that type of business mm -hmm. so the goal is to master this have fun help a bunch of people make some money then go maybe exit this business use the capital from there to build my own software tech etc to solve mm -hmm. all of the issues that i'm creating with my content mm -hmm. and then you know we'll see where that takes us and yeah. i don't know it's pretty straightforward to me yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh here's kind of a, a question off the beaten path so like you are young uh extremely successful uh where does how does your personal life fit into all this? More specifically, women. Oh, okay. Cool. Like, are you at a place where you? <laughs> we can do that. Oh, okay, cool. No, it's, 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 it's no, I love how yeah. we can. Yeah. We, can, we can do whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. like more, more specific. Like, so, like, are you at a space where you, where you are dating, interested in dating? Are you super focused on business? Do you find it hard to date because, yeah. like, of where you're at success? Like, it's kind of let's unpack that a little bit. Yeah. So I'm in a place to where I'm you open. My water? <laughs> okay. <laughs> your business, man. Uh, <laughs> um, he in my business and yours. Yeah, man. right, right. <laughs> Double dipping, man. Oh, no, man. I'm uh, right now. I'm in a place to where I'm I'm open, mm -hmm. and, but it's like open in the capacity of like. So, perfect example. If I meet a girl right now, it's gonna be because we bumped into each other at Barnes and Noble or a conference or something. Yeah, I'm not like on Instagram or dating sites or right, whatever. Right. It's just like try DM if you want to. <laughs> try DM. Yeah, yeah. It'll be a setter. Like, right. um, okay. well, are you thinking about starting a brand or are you a coach? <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. So, uh, I mean, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm not. I'm not not open to it, but I'm just true. not super focused on it. And then also. I realize that I am very just different in general mm -hmm. from like what a regular human would be doing because mm -hmm. I just get so obsessed with like what I got going on. Right. So, I mean, Carter knows like I don't have a bed. I sleep on the floor and I don't care because I believe that like if you want to check to see if I, I'm doing what I'm doing, check my bank account and not the outward possessions that I have. Mm -hmm. So or check my character or my, you know, lack, right. lack of ego. And then maybe that will you know showcase a little bit more about who I am or what I do. Mm -hmm. um, so it's almost difficult to yeah. invite a young lady over to the home. And uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, let's go to your room. Well, there's a desk there <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a backdrop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
that wall. That's, 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 that's a multi million dollar wall you got right there, though, dog. He, he has a wall across his desk. And he just like puts all his ideas. I'm like, bro, take a picture of that wall and like just give it to your kids. Like, one day, it's crazy. Right. So, I mean, that's kind of where I'm at with the dating thing. Um, I'm open, but I'm yeah. not necessarily like actively courting. Got you. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, this is good because we I you I rarely get into the personal stuff, so you know. Yeah, I mean, you got so much game. People, you just want to keep hearing, keep hearing the game. But so, so this is a question. So, like, did you feel like because we talked about this at, at, the, at the event yesterday? Like, as we become more successful, cause we can have the conversations about these numbers all day, mm -hmm. right? But do you feel like you lose relatability mm -hmm. to other people who just are not in our space because you can't relate to them on a either a monetary level or you talk talk, talk numbers or you can't relate to them on just like a Everybody wants to go out to a bar. Like you're just not yeah. doing that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's where I think ego and empathy come in. So mm -hmm. for me, and I see friends and, you know, homies that are coaches mm -hmm. where it's like, damn, sometimes I don't like talking to my students because mm -hmm. of X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. right. And I get it. But right. for me, I always try to, like, I try my best to activate empathy there because, bro, Four years ago, I was sleeping on the floor because I had to, mm -hmm. because I had the type of mindset that my student now has right now. Right. So I try to flip it and say, well, don't feel so big and bold because mm -hmm. you have this money now to where right. you can't help someone that was once in the place that you were. Right. So I always just, that's why I try to stay in, I call it the, you know, the trenches. Like I teach right. in my program every week because I want to see what their issues are and help. Right. And then I think that that's just a, a level of removing your ego too. And I, I read a book, um, really good. Ego is the enemy. One of my favorites. I always talk about it, mm -hmm. but, um, in the book, it was just talking about like how, um, uh, Rockefeller would like always go into a separate room and mm -hmm. he would talk to himself richest man in the world mm -hmm. and or at one point and he would be like are you really gonna like let this money like really do something to you to you and like change you like mm -hmm. Like, are you really going to let it puff you up like that? And mm -hmm. then he said a quote and he was like, because vain men only hear praise. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's so good because you like you making all of this money and now you only see in the social media and the followers and the money. And now you operate in vainly because you're hearing all of this praise. Mm -hmm. But your student don't need you to be vain. They need you right. to give them information. Right. And what if somebody what if somebody when you was when I was sleeping on the floor, looked back down at me and was like, nah, bro, you be going to the club and drinking and stuff like I'm I'm. I'm not really into that type of conversation. Right, right, I don't right. really feel like, you know, teaching you that, even yeah. though you, you paid me to do it or whatever. So, Facts. Um, I don't know. That's just how I be thinking about it. Like, sometimes you do you do feel it naturally because it's the same with, like, friends and stuff mm -hmm. where I don't hang out with the same friends like that, like that, that I did anymore, but I don't cut them off. Yeah, you right. know, I just have, I know that they're there for a specific reason. So, I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. That's actually, I need to read that book. That's a great way to put it because like you say, like, it's not, don't forget you were just there, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't forget you were just, you know what I'm saying? You were just yeah. that person because I am not the person, same person. At 25, 26, I was playing Call of Duty six hours a yeah. day. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I can't look down on my 26 year old self because he didn't know any better. Right. But we got the information, right. he did something different. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So. That's all it is. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's just how I feel about it, bro. It's just like, I'll be trying to. Anytime I could re remove my ego, I try my best to do so. Because yeah. ego, ego wants status, it wants praise, and it wants to feel good about having money. When in right. reality, money means nothing, bro. Like, because, and I, I even seen a video, y'all might have seen it as well. It's like, money's not even in your top five. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like, so like Dar good, bro. I think Darius, Darius Daniels. So yeah. good, bro. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just like, yeah, bro. Like, money, when I had, like, when I had money, this is the thing. I made millions of dollars, lost it all. Mm -hmm. Made millions of dollars again, lost it all again. And I realized it was because I didn't have the character traits of someone that could manage money properly. But I asked myself a very important question when I lost all the money after losing, gaining and losing mm -hmm. it. I'm in the shower by myself, just lost millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. And I asked myself, and I was like, bro, who are you without this money? Mm -hmm. And what character traits do you have without this money? Because so many people tie their identity in with their business Facts. if the business does good or does bad mm -hmm. it's because you have the right skill sets to make it do that right not because you're a bad or good person right. so when i sat down after i had made millions lost it made it again and lost it again i'm in that position i'm like who are you without this money and i was like i'm a great person i give everything that i have mm -hmm. i will do anything for anybody. I have great character traits and I'm selfless and mm -hmm. I have a great relationship with all of my friends and family. And I gained all of this character and these skills and these beliefs from doing this business the wrong way. Now pick yourself back up and then 
put all of those skill sets and character traits and belief that systems that you have into doing it again the right way. Mm. And then that's when I realized that money doesn't matter because I've been at the top and I've been at the bottom. But right. at the bottom, the only thing that mattered was relationships mm. and my character. So why the fuck? Like, yeah, 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 <laughs> why yeah. am I even that's worried? Powerful. Why am I even thinking about the money? It means nothing. Yeah, that's powerful. That's nasty. So, <laughs> I didn't mean to take it there. No, no, but like we all need to hear that because on this route to getting money, you cannot get lost in it, man. Because yeah. if it takes over you, money is only going to make you is only imp amplify, amplify what right. you already are. So if you right. focus on being a good person now, you're going to be a great person when you get money. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. if you, and if you're a bad person now, you're going to be a terrible person mm -hmm. with money, right? right? right. Um, and time will promote or expose you, right? So it's like you can't, you can't hide forever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You are who you are. So if there's work that there's internal work that you need to do, you got to yeah. do it. You can't, you can't run from it. That's a fact. You know what I mean? And so while money doesn't mean it's meaningless in and of itself, right? right. We understand that as people of color, right? Like we've been behind yeah. in the money game, right? Which is why, you know, we created this platform. Mm -hmm. And so we always like to ask our guests for reasons that do matter to them, what does being a melanin millionaire mean to you? Mm. Multi, multi melanin millionaire uh, <laughs> mean yeah, yeah, yeah. to you. Put some respect on that thing. Right. I was actually thinking about this yesterday, bro. I didn't yeah. know he was going to ask this, but the thing that it did for me was, so I got to tell a story to make it make sense. Okay. I grew up and my mom would get a bunch of credit cards mm -hmm. and she would spend it all. And then mm -hmm. it got so bad to the point to where she would give me her credit cards and be like, I'm 10 years old. She would give me her credit cards mm -hmm. and be like, Justin, please hide this from me when I'm 10. And wow. then she would, you know, a few months go by, Justin, please take this one and then use scissors to cut it in half. Mm -hmm. So I wow. developed a relationship with money where it was like, hold on to every dollar that you have mm -hmm. because you don't want to be in the position that the woman that you love the most on earth Right. was in right. so but then i developed a negative relationship with money mm -hmm. to where i was holding on to every dollar that i had mm -hmm. but when i held on to every dollar what happens if you hold something in your hand so tough you break it mm -hmm. and also nothing can enter into mm -hmm. your hand that's the biggest thing and then because nothing's leaving it yeah. so then right. i realized i had to open my hand so that money could come in and money could go out right. so what what like doing this in my life has done for me has given me like the freedom mm -hmm. and it's given me the security and it's given me, um, you know, the solvent to the traumas that I've had with watching the woman that I love most not be able to be good with money. And then also giving the solutions too, yeah. because now I'm able to teach my mom the digital side of the business and she's killing it now too Dope. so it's uh, it? yeah bro oh my god if i run that play down bro <sighs> <laughs> but we'll talk about that yeah 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 but yeah, 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 yeah i mean that's what it that's what it means to me it yeah. just means it means security um mm -hmm. it means freedom it mm -hmm. means family and uh it means influence and impact as well dope well folks if that wasn't a, a massive, you ain't get enough after that. Right. That's, that's we your problem. We don't know what else to do. Yeah. You know what, <laughs> we don't know what else to do. So we know that you, on your birthday, you yeah. do plan to release the program. So what's the best way for people to kind of like, like stay tapped in so yeah. that when that drops, they can, you know, you know, pay attention. Yeah. I say for now, my Instagram is Justin P. Mm. Follow me on Instagram. All other platforms is Ecom Justin P. Hopefully I gave you enough value today that you'll want to follow and I'll be giving out free information. And if the free information is dope enough that you want to work with us, then maybe you'll, you know, spend some money with us. And if not perfectly fine, I hope that the free information helps out a lot. Well, there you have it, folks. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Melanin Money Show. Until next time. Peace. Peace.